Hi everyone, welcome to another Pick a Card Extra. We are at this beautiful location just above Camp Cove Beach. So I'm going to try and do this without falling off the edge. You can see Camp Cove Beach, the tiny little beach over there. And I've got this cute park bench here. Let's check this out. It says, in loving memory of Greg Frumkin. How nice. Okay, so let's do this here, people. Hang on. Hello. <laughs> right, so I might as well get set up and let's do the next topic on my list. I'll pull out the list. I'll show you what it is. I don't even know what it is. So let's see how we go. I actually think I don't need iPhone audio for this one. I think I should be okay here. And I think the topic we're going to do is this one. What illusion has caught my attention? Okay. What illusion has caught my attention? Are you under some kind of illusion? I just thought that would be interesting. Let's see what comes. So feel free to choose from group one, tiger's eye, group two, the quartz crystal, or group three, the rose quartz. And I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one or this beautiful tiger's eye crystal, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what illusion has caught your attention. Is there an illusion in your life right now? What an interesting topic. <laughs> I just came up with these on the way to Camp Cove today. And yeah, let's see, let's see what comes. I have no idea. I have no preconceived ideas as to what might come here. So let's see, let's see what comes. We're running out of cards here. I, I'm, every time we use one, I take it out. So look at that, we're down to a small number. I, and that is a sign for me to get on with you know putting this on the shop for you guys I am working on that everyone so don't you worry I'll let you know when that's available right Ketu in the 12th often leaves country of birth psychic ability spiritually powerful lack of sleep yeah it's possible restless mind will get comfort and luxury Yes, probably enjoys comfort and luxury. I know a couple of people with this placement. They do like their creature comforts. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Five of Swords. Okay, that is interesting. This can be conflict. But very often it's, it's conflict in the mind because of thinking too much, too many thoughts. Okay. Oh, we've got a magpie join us. <laughs> You've got to see this, guys. Let's let's have a look at Mr. or Mrs. Magpie there. Hello. You want to join, huh? Ah. Okay. Anyway, back to this. Uh, let's see. So, conflicted magpie. Hmm. Wonder what. Wonder what omen that. I'll, I don't know. If I'm editing and something comes to me, I'll I'll type it on the screen. But illusion. Okay. Let's keep going here. Five of Cups, Heartbreak, right? Oh, Ace of Cups, yeah, beautiful. Wow, and a new beginning. Well, I'm glad we drew these in this order, like I have shown them in this order, because this is, this is good. And I think I would even do that. Oh, the magpie's sharpening its beak. I wonder what that means. Oh, and he's fluffing up now, gee. Okay, right, well, let's keep going here. So, heartbreak, something in the past, right? I'm gonna edit out some of this because we've got some people walking by who seem to be curious as to what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so, past heartbreak, right? 
and possibly thoughts circling in the mind again and again that wow where did it go wrong right something along these lines but there's a new beginning for you when it comes to love so it does feel like within there's something you're conflicted about mentally when it comes to love but look at the place of where the cup is it's it's in the position of her heart okay but the thing is that you're up in the mind this is the conflict this is where you're conflicted I'm getting quite distracted hold on a moment I'll come back sorry about that group one I just had to break away there for a moment because I got a bit sneezy as well <laughs> sorry oh dear the dilemmas of of filming outdoors it's so much fun I love coming out but yeah uh, where was I you're conflicted you're in the mind something circling in the mind again and again there's something and there's some form of conflict and maybe you feel like someone else is the victor or maybe you think you did something wrong but you know what that might be your perception see perception is a funny thing because how you perceive it can be very different to how the other people perceive it and look at this the other that you're maybe in a conflict in they're just fine but this has been a problem for you and I would say that this is something to do with some past heartbreak that's pretty obvious But the strong guidance that I'm getting, apologies, I'm going to have to cut some of this out because there are passers-by and I'm getting some weird looks from people. Um, yeah, so basically, you need to get out of the head and get into the heart and feel. And what, what does your heart say to do? Your heart will have all the answers if you drop in there. There's some new beginning on the horizon for you and there is it's, it is some new beginning in, when it comes to love the topic is what illusion has caught my attention I'm kind of getting this could be some illusion to do with you yourself actually I think maybe you're being hard on yourself or there's something you perceive that you've done really wrong or something like that maybe you did something a little bit wrong but it probably wasn't a big deal and the other people are fine and you know no we've got a plane going overhead this reading has been a bit choppy sorry about that but i can see i mean look the k through in the 12th i'm not so sure ah i know what this is yeah oh my god talk about illusion Ketu in the 12th, far out. How could I miss this sign? That's huge. That's like lifetimes of fantasy thinking. And it's like the guidance here is to get in the Rahu house, to get in the North Node house, to get real, right? So get out of illusion and fantasy, get real, sink into the heart. What does your heart feel and want and believe? Feel for that. If you spend all your time up here in the head, you'll just you'll forever be confused. You've got to drop into the heart and do what feels good. And what feels good to your body, to your soul, you'll feel it. It's a feeling thing. Feeling is different to thinking. And there's some new beginning that's going to happen, group number one. I'm excited for you. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. And I hope you've enjoyed this pick a card extra. In a new place it has been a bit choppy a bit up and down sorry there was also a gentleman that came and put his shoes on so he sat right next to me it was kind of weird he didn't say anything and then he just left and it was like okay interesting i mean obviously i wasn't talking i stopped and pretended to write stuff on my notes but anyway 
thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number two if you chose group number two or this beautiful quartz crystal then you are in the right place so we are shuffling for the question what illusion has caught my attention are you under some kind of illusion group number two let's check it out wow and we've got another magpie do you know we've got two magpies here oh hello you want to sing again no oh. Let's see, will you move? Will you flinch if I put you on camera? There you go. Oh. You're a good singer. Yeah. Well, that is lovely. A little live performance. You want to read some cards? <laughs> you probably do a better job than me. <laughs> a lot to say. Go on, what else do you want to say? This is a good omen. Mm -hmm. Alright. Anything more? Oh, don't worry. I'm just going to zoom in on you, my darling. <laughs> wow. You've been practicing. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, group number two, that is, that is a treat and a half. Shall we carry on with the show? I, I suspect he's gonna be there for a while. Wow, that, that is something special. So what illusion has caught your attention? Well, I don't know if that magpie is an illusion, but it certainly caught my attention. Yeah, all right, you wanna interpret some cards here? <laughs> You know, they, um, they're very good at getting food. I just don't have any. If, if I had some magpie appropriate food. Ooh, oh, yes, we're taking that. The Ace of Pentacles flew out. Wonderful. All right, liking that. So you've got a bird that came and gave you a live performance. You have the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, it's still going. It doesn't get better group number two this is reality that's the other thing this is not illusion this is reality we're dealing with right now this is a real bird that's beautiful okay take one of these oh i'll shuffle a bit better ah, there we go all right well you're on a winner you've got the ace of pentacles apologies my hay fever has cranked up again I'll just edit that bit out, me having a bit of a sniffle <laughs> live on camera. You don't need to hear that. Okay, what do we have? Oh, moon in the third. You know, we've got a lot of moon energy. This is profound. All the moon ones want to come out. So we've got lo moon in the third, loves traveling. <coughs> good writer. Yes, very good writer. Sensitive communicator, logical, knowledgeable spouse is the boss, okay. If afflicted, finds little peace of mind. Right. Got the Ace of Pentacles. Excellent. Okay. Temperance. Healing. Yeah. Love it. Healing. Alchemizing as well. That's another way of looking at this. You could be alchemizing something at this time. Transmuting something. Transforming something. Ooh, the King of Cups. We like the King of Cups. <laughs> Oh, beautiful, the Empress, wow. Okay, so our topic is, what illusion has caught my attention? Hmm, this is interesting. Because I'm definitely getting a vibe that I think you're very grounded. That flew out, and that's solid, and that's good, and that's the Ace of Pentacles, and that's you being grounded, and that's you, look at that, the sun's coming out for you as well. Group two, we've got some amazing energy here. We've got bird singing, we've got great money on the table here. Whether or not that's in your experience, know that that's coming in. Moon in the third, good friends, you know. You love socializing. Your mind would be happy to socialize, you'd have fun with that. 
I think you're healing. I think you're doing a good job. The spiritual team is kind of giving you a pat on the back here, saying you're doing well. Where you might be having some kind of illusion. Might be something in your love life, possibly. Mm. These, both of these have their eyes closed. And the King of Cups is enormously loving. The Empress is enormously loving as well. And creative, of course. But both of them have their eyes closed. So there might be something happening in your love life. Might be some kind of blind spot or something where there is a little bit of an illusion in your love life. Let's shuffle one more. I know I'm not supposed to do that on one of these extra videos, but let's just do it because I want to find out what's going on in the love life. Let's see. Oh, the star. Good, 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 good. Okay, well, there's some healing happening in your love life. There might be some kind of blind spot or something that you're not seeing, but I feel like it's being taken care of. By, by spirit, by angels, by your guides, whoever it is. It's, it's like the other side is on the case kind of thing. I don't get a vibe that you need to do anything as such. I think what will be good for you at this time is to keep working, okay? Because that energy is beautiful. Be social as well. Good time to be social. And um, keep doing your own transformation your own alchemizing your own healing work you're doing great at it so group number two i don't have much more than that and i say i think with the love life i think you're getting a healing or revival there or something really nice is happening there for you and i don't particularly think you're caught under any illusion as such although there is some maybe a little blind spot or something you're not seeing i'm not sure but i'm not getting a sign that you need to be worried about it so that is what i have for you today Thank you so much for tuning in, group number two, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number three. If you chose group number three or this beautiful rose quartz crystal, then you are in the right place. The topic we're looking at today is what illusion has caught my attention? Are you under some kind of illusion, group number three? And I've been asking that for everybody. Oh, we've got a new bird. Okay, do you want it? Oh, no, it's flown away. <laughs> right, I don't even know what that one is. Very pretty though. White feathers, small black beak, small bird too. Not like those huge magpies we have here. Okay, so what illusion are you under, group number Three. Are you under an illusion? You might not be. You might have your feet planted firmly on the ground and you're going for it with whatever you're doing. Who knows? Let's see. <laughs> oh. This is quite fun doing this outside. It can be a bit challenging though. It can be challenging when there's lots of people, I tell you. But I like, I don't know, something. I just, I felt strongly guided to do this, like to come out and just to I think to get out of the house actually and just change the energy, change the atmosphere. All right, Mars in the eighth, cool. Accident prone, domestic life challenging, could lose spouse, dislikes relatives, gains from siblings, makes good doctor or healer, has secret assets and likes the occult. Do you know, Mars in the eighth is at home here. It's a strong position for Mars, actually. It's not a bad one. Can be, I've seen this in real life with people, people I know very well, who have trouble letting go. I have seen that. Can end up as massive hoarders as well. Oh, wow, Knight of Cups. Okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah, Ten of Pentacles, uh-huh, okay. Nine of Pentacles, yes and judgment interesting so what illusion are you under group number three with this knight of cups here i kind of feel like 
This is a really tricky one. You might be under an illusion that Hmm, yeah, I don't know how to phrase this. You see, because it's like you want this dream to come true. It's like you want maybe to meet someone, settle down, have a family, all that kind of wonderful thing. And I don't feel like that is out of the question or not. Anyone can create that any time. But there's something illusory about it. Maybe you feel like it's an illusion, right? Maybe you feel safer doing your own thing. And I totally understand that. And maybe you feel that you're being judged by the all is one that your every move is being judged. You know, when you're a spiritual person, that kind of is how life is. When you're spiritual, yeah, spiritual people know that there are no secrets. Look at that, we've got secrets here. See, very spiritual people are not under the illusion that they can have secrets. So that's a, a good thing. <laughs> Because everything is seen by the all is one, by God, all the time. You are known, you are seen at all times, kind of thing. There's no such thing as secrets when you're spiritual. So you're not under that illusion, that's for sure. I think I'm going to wait for these passers by to continue passing by. Hold on, I'll come back. Hi everyone, I'm back. Sorry about that. We just had quite a lot of people traffic and I thought, let's stop. <laughs> Especially because like the group that just walked by, they walked by very slowly and were very talkative. Okay, I think there's something here, group number three, where you feel like the perfect life is an illusion and you're like, I can't have that. There's no way, <laughs> right? And, and does this really ever happen? Does Mr. Wonderful turn up with his roses and his horse and his... What else does he have there? All of that stuff, right? I mean, does it really happen? There's something like this. What, the topic is what illusion has caught your attention? Maybe this illusion has the power to catch your attention. Because some part of you wants this, yes, and that's good. It's the dream life. But you know, the dream life isn't out there somewhere on the horizon. It's here now. See, and that's the thing about what illusion has caught your attention. It could be the illusion of a perfect future. How about we say that? So whatever this is, right? And for you, it might be your business that's thriving and you know, all the people who said you couldn't do it, they all come to know that you're now really successful. Maybe that's the carrot that's being dangled or whatever. There's some carrot that's being dangled. I'm liking that topic, group three, or that, that, that concept for you. I think I used this in one of your readings before, that thing about the carrot that's being dangled. Um, yeah, and it's like... I think, I think the, the illusion that's caught your attention is some perfect future that's out there in the future, but does it ever come? And I actually think with these cards here, it, it's showing me that <clears throat> I think you're not too bothered if it comes or it doesn't, because you're not too bothered because look, Mars in his own house that's a lot of strength and comfort right there. Mars is at home. You're at home in this life. There's a large part of you that is happy to be here and that is grounded and you're finding your way and you're finding that home is being expressed more and more through you each day just by being. And that's in the now where it counts, okay? 
There might be something you need to let go, some old past, that is true. That can be here with Mars in the eighth. But look at this lady, I think she's super happy being on her own. Nine of Pentacles, this is enjoyment of wealth by yourself. You're happy doing your own thing. And that's where there's a lot of stability and peace and comfort and all that great stuff. I think you also recognize with this judgment card here, I think you also recognize that there isn't a moment when you're not being judged kind of thing. There are no secrets. So you're not under, we covered that, yeah, you're not under that illusion. But I think this, this concept of this, this dream thing I think it's, um, and we covered this in one of your readings, Group 3, it's not enough to deter you from your path. Keep going on your path. I feel like maybe you're illusion proof, <laughs> you know, maybe you are illusion proof. I love that. Nothing can detract you from your path. And you're doing great. You want to be good, you do good, you be good. You're, you're in a line, you're aligned. It's good. Keep it going. And if there's something you need to let go, Mars in the 8th, clutter clear. You might need to do some clutter clearing as well, group 3. That might be important for you right now. But that is where I'm going to leave it today. This has been a mini extra pick a card I hope you enjoyed it, group number three. Let me know how you got on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time.